Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Mat and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew and I will be here to guide you through your short and chill morning practice. At least it is morning for me right now. Maybe you're just choosing to do a chill practice on your own at any time of the day, which is great. But we'll just be moving nice and slow today. If you have a couple of blocks, feel free to grab them. I'm not going to cue them today because we're not going to do anything too complicated. And then we'll just begin in a seated position today. So that can be either on your heels like I am, or maybe just a nice and comfortable, easy seated position. And just take a moment here to arrive, to settle into your body, begin to ignore the sounds from the outside world, or maybe tap into them if you're sitting outside like me, listening to the birds and the cars as they drive by. Just working to bring your gaze a little bit more inward. We'll move into an easy twist from here. Begin, bring your right hand behind you, left hand onto your right knee. Take a nice big inhale to lengthen through your spine. And exhale just to twist over your right shoulder your gaze out over that right shoulder and just focus on lengthening out through your spine on your inhales and just deepening a little bit on your twist on your exhale your next inhale move back through center we'll just take it over to the other side left hand behind you right knee on your left right hand on your left knee rather just inhaling to lengthen your spine and exhaling to find that just gentle, easy twist. I like to focus on engaging our twists from the center of our back so we're not doing anything to throw ourselves out of line. Good. We'll come back in through center. We'll just make our way into a nice little tabletop here. We won't be here for too long because again, today is just nice and short. We won't be doing much on our wrists or anything like that. But just take some hip circles here if that feels good for you. I've got my fingers pointed toward my knees because I love stretching the front of my forearms. I welcome you to do the same. Just come back to a neutral tabletop. Find a few cat cows. As you inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin and your chest. And then exhale to tuck your chin, round your shoulders, and push the ground away. Connect this to your own breath to movement, inhaling to find your cow, and then exhaling to take your cat. Just explore here on your own, moving as fast or as slow as what feels good for you. Just meeting me back in your neutral tabletop in another four, three, two, and one. Take one last little inhale here in your tabletop. Untuck your toes if they aren't already. And then exhale into a downward facing dog. Take any little movements here that feel good for you as you arrive. We won't be here for much in our downward dog today. So just energetically draw your chest toward your thighs. Bring your hands into a high five shape as you press into your palms to help find that broadening through your shoulders. There's always the option to take your dog for a walk, gently bending one leg at a time, or spinning off into either direction. And settle back into your downward facing dog. Then inhale, gaze forward, bring a soft bend into your knees. And exhale to walk into a ragdoll pose at the top of your space. We'll just hang out here for a couple of breaths. Option to take a nice little sway left and right. Option to take any little bouncing movements here. Or continue walking your dog, bending one leg at a time. Maybe you grab opposite elbows and just again, Take any movements here that feel good for you as you just wake your body up. 
And on your next inhale, one vertebrae at a time. We rise nice and slow all the way to a standing position. Your head is the last to get to the top. And bring your arms high up overhead for a mountain pose. Take a moment here just to ground down into the four corners of your feet. Find some length along your spine as you engage the crown of your head a little higher. Take one more big breath in here. And as you exhale, just take an easy open twist. Your right arm comes behind you. Your left arm goes out front. From here, we'll give ourselves a little hug. Drop your right hand down. Let the back of your right hand touch your left hip. And then bring your left hand to your right hip. Just like we did in that easy twist earlier on, bring your gaze out over your right shoulder. Maybe give yourself an actual little squeeze and let it feel good. Inhale, arms back up high. And then exhale to take that over to the other side. Left hand comes behind, right arm goes forward. And then again, drop your left hand behind. The back of your left hand comes to your right hip. And your right hand comes to your left. Big breath in and then exhale just to take a nice little twist. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back, bind your fingers together, and then inhale to squeeze your shoulder blades, puff your chest up a little bit more forward for a chest expansion. Send your hips a little forward as well to add in a baby back bend. And inhale to come back up into the center, option to keep the bind or let it go. And exhale into a forward fold. Release your bind if you still have it. Inhale, halfway lift, pause here in your flat back. Press your hands on your shins and extend the crown of your head a little bit more forward. Still working to find that length along your back. And on your next exhale, step your left leg back. Let your left knee come down to the earth as your right knee bends. Frame your right foot, then inhale into a low crescent. Arms come up nice and tall. And hang out here on your exhale. Just bend and straighten into your right leg as you arrive. No need to take anything too crazy. We're only gonna do this one time on each side. And then bring your arms up high overhead. Start to heel toe your right foot toward the right corner of your mat. And as you exhale, bring your hands down inside of your right foot. This may feel a little tender for you in your inner right thigh, especially if you've never been in this pose or if you're newer to yoga. So here's an option for blocks if you've got them to elevate your hands. From here, just bring your left knee under, out from underneath your left hip so it's a little bit more behind. Start to sink a little bit more forward so you find that stretch along your left hip and really deep into your inner right thigh. If this is a little too much. You can come onto the outer edge of your right foot and let your right knee come out over to the side. Your next inhale, begin to crawl your way back in toward that left knee under left hip, low lunge center. And then inhale back to your low crescent, arms up high. Straighten out your right leg and then exhale into a half splits. If you've got your blocks, again, you can place your hands onto them to have some extra support. You can also just place your hand anywhere along your leg if you're struggling to reach the ground. Just keep a nice little micro bend in your right knee to avoid any hyperextension. Draw your left hip a little bit more forward to be in line with your right. Or if you are looking to work toward a full splits, again, just start to bring your left leg out behind you to any degree. Your next inhale, we will find a low lunge. Rebend your right knee, reframe your right foot with your hands, lift your left knee up. Bring your hands out in front of your right foot and then just step into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We'll take that to the other side. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down in that low lunge position. 
right knee stacked under your right hip and then inhale into your low crescent arms come high overhead just taking some movements here anything that feels good and again inhale to bring your arms up high heel toe your left foot toward the left side of your mat then exhale into your lizard lunge bringing your hands inside of your left foot either onto the mat or onto the blocks and then scooting your right knee back shifting a little bit more forward and really feeling it in your right hip and your inner left thigh again option to come onto the outer edge of your left foot and let your left knee fall out to the side it's a little bit deep for me actually today in my outer left hip doing that so maybe that's exactly what i need but it's very common very normal for one side of your body to be totally different than the other so just know that that's okay and we'll come back into the center heel toe your left leg back toward the middle under your right hand. inhale to bring your arms back high into that low crescent straighten out your left leg and exhale into your half splits always the option to windshield wiper your left foot if you'd like to explore all three hamstrings in your back line again if you're working toward your full splits gently start to send your right knee back so it is no longer stacked underneath your right hip And then on your next inhale, find your low lunge, rebend your left knee, bring it to center, stack your right, your right hip, and then bring exhale into your forward fold. Inhale, nice halfway lift, shake anything out that you may feel. And as you exhale, come down into a seated position. We'll take a butterfly pose from here. So bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall out wide. Option to flutter your knees and bounce them up and down if you'd like to get a little bit more into your inner thighs. And always the option to lengthen through your spine and then fold forward to get a little bit more depth. If you are folding forward, just as we do in standing positions, engage that fold from the center of your hips. That was not what I meant to say. And, well, not from the center of your hips, just from your hips. Engage and fold from your hips. Hip points, so you're kind to your lower back. Sometimes words are hard, we're all just waking up. Your next inhale come back into the center if you were folded forward we'll keep the positioning of our legs and just come into a reclined butterfly so just lay all the way down and again just let your knees fall out to the side option to place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly to simply feel the beating of your heart and the rise and fall of your breath Option to cactus your arms out to the side or bring them up and over. Leave your right leg as it is and just gently start to extend your left leg. Let it fall to the earth, taking a reclined tree. So just like in a standing position, bring your right foot into either your left thigh or maybe down onto your left shin if that feels more comfortable just let your right knee fall out to the side and just breathe some extra space in this isolation on your right hip On your next inhale, draw your right knee in toward your chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. Maybe take it for a couple of hip circles if that feels good for you. And on your next exhale, find a supine twist. Draw your right leg out over your left. Stack your right hip on top of your left. And your focus here should be on bringing, keeping your right shoulder on the mat. So if that means that your leg is all the way up here, that's great. 
Just work on keeping your shoulders down onto the mat as you work toward this twist and breathe some space into your lower back. You may find some tension down there. That may also mean that your hips are just super tight. So maybe you went through a lot in this short practice. That likely means that you sit a lot. On your next inhale, draw your knees back in toward your chest. Give them both a big squeeze this time. And we'll find our reclined tree on the other side. Send your right leg out long, let it fall, and bring the sole of your left foot into either your right thigh or down onto your right shin. Let your left knee fall out to the side and just breathe that space into your left hip. On your next inhale, draw your left knee in toward your chest. Give it a squeeze. Maybe take those hip circles if you took them on the other side. And just find your supine twist. Stack your right left hip over your right this time. Again, focus first on keeping your left shoulder down onto the mat as opposed to getting your left knee all the way down to the ground. Your next inhale, draw your knees in toward your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Meet your knees and your forehead together just to thank yourself for showing up. Then exhale into your Shavasana. Extend your legs and let your arms hang heavy by your side. Sink in directly into this posture. I won't be here too long today from this nice short practice. Just give yourself this final moment of your practice before you go about the rest of your day to just simply relax and restore. Slowly begin to start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Or if you're in the space of your own home and on your own time, feel free to lay here. If you're ready to close your practice out, bring your arms up overhead. Give yourself a nice good morning stretch. And feel free to roll over onto either side to use your bicep for a pillow. Taking one last little fetal position before we move about the rest of our day. Then on your next inhale, press yourself up into a comfortable and easy seated position back at the top of your space. And thank you all so much for showing up today and joining me on this quick little morning practice. I know we got a little bit deep into our hips for that short amount of time, so I hope it was a nice good stretch for you. I appreciate you all being here, so feel free to hit the subscribe button to come and join me for some more of these shorter practices. Or also keep an eye out for my live online classes, which are linked below, so that you can come and join me for a full practice here and there as well. I hope you all have a day just as beautiful as you, and I will see you all in the next one. Namaste.